All right. Um, welcome to March 3rd, 2022. Um, March 3rd, right? It's 3-3. Three, three. three in numerology is the number of creativity. And 33 is the master teacher, right? And the master teacher is also the master student. And um, with the number 33 also comes uh, great prowess of visualization, the visionaries, okay? And the manifestors, right? Um, and we talked about having vision. We talked about getting to work with respect to whatever your life purpose is, getting on your life purpose. You need to stand in your lot, whatever it is that you were born to do. Okay, you need to figure that. That needs to have already been figured out. And if it's not figured out, that is a primary objective. So today's video is about embracing your divinity and showing your works by your faith. Okay? Embrace your divinity and show thy works by thy faith. I mean, show thy faith by thy works. Okay? Show thy faith by thy works. It's one thing to believe. It's one thing to speak. It's a whole nother thing to actually be and to do. So, number one. Beware of the dream killers. <laughs> That's number one. Beware of the dream killers. Okay? So you will have people... And there's always going to be a difference of opinion. There's always going to be people that see things differently. And you know what? And in the end, that's okay. Difference of opinions are needed. Debate is needed. You know, um, discussions are needed. Different ideas are needed, right, to create diversity. But one thing that you should never tolerate are the dream killers. The dream killers are the ones that they are, uh, they're the ones that constantly play devil's advocate against you, critiquing, right? The super fact checkers, which is not nothing wrong with fact checking, but they are, they, they, they always play your adversary. They're not on your side. What they do is they're good for competing against you, comparing, right? And I told you about comparing. We're no longer co comparing each other is no longer favorable, right? And they critique. The dream killers tell you that that's not realistic, but you know that your dreams are realistic. It's not just idealistic. You know your goals are realistic. You know exactly what you want to do because there are many ways of doing things. People will see things different ways just because they can't see. Your vision does not make your vision impossible. You're the one that has to put in the work. And the, and, the, and the reality is that a lot of the pioneers, right? A lot of the trendsetters, they live in the future. If they speak about their ideas, people with small minds, they can't perceive that. And they, they usually speak against it. My best advice is, don't share big ideas with small minds. It's going to shut your energy down. It's going to subconsciously discourage you. It's going to weigh you down with negativity that you don't need. Right? The dream tellers tell you that it's not possible. The, the dream killers tell you it's not possible. The dream killers, right? They, you have the silent dream killers that they don't even support what you're saying. They just look at you all crazy. They have nothing to say. They have nothing to comment, right? Because inwardly, they don't believe in you. The dream killers will, um, they will listen 
to what your life goals are. And whether in that moment or at another time, they will suggest you and insinuate, right? And auto suggest and, and, and give you these uh, empty advices, as I like to say, empty advice as to what you should do. For example, if you told a particular individual, right? They say, oh, um, they say, uh, let's see here. What's the name? Let's say Jonathan. So what's going on with your life? Oh, um, yeah, I'm learning about, I'm learning about real estate. Yeah. And I think I want to buy this much land and I want to do this, this in the land and I want to build this. And, uh, well, how are you going to raise the money for that? Well, yeah, I've been learning this skill and this trade. I think I want to, I think I'm going to learn this trade, right? I get made these certifications in this amount of time, right? Let's just say that the, the, the trade is electrical engineer. Let's say it's computer programming. You're, you're studying to become a coder, to, to, to create applications, right? Coding can be very lucrative, um, being a programmer. Um, so you told them your plans about learning to code, buying land, and getting into real estate. A week or two goes by, they see, and they and they see you, and they and they and they suggest, uh, Jonathan. Um. Yeah, this company over here is hiring, right? So you can go, you know. Uh, uh, come up with a the post office is hiring, right? The post office is a good job. They pay us seventeen dollars an hour, and you only got a slave ten hours, ten hours a day, seven days a week when you start out. It's a government job, and you got benefits. And you know, being there's a government job, you know. So make sure you have the juice, right? But see, they, they're suggesting you to go work over there. Why? Because they think that you're going nowhere in your life. They don't believe in you. You told them your plans and your dreams and they totally disregarded it. You told them what you're actively doing, that you're learning coding and what your plans are with the money that's going to come in. And they're suggesting you to go work somewhere else as if you were there's nothing wrong if you have a decent job, whatever. But if you have your own plans, forget what other people say. That's the dream killer. The dream killer disregards your plans. And your. the best thing for you to do is with the majority of people, with only a select few, only a select few, reveal your plans. Everyone else, you remain a mystery. You keep that to yourself. They will... They will see what you have been up to on a need-to-know basis. That's what you need to do. You need to keep people on a need-to-know basis. That's my recommendation. You can do whatever you want to do and learn the hard way by running your mouth and revealing to these people your plans, okay? A lot of these dream killers are going to be a lot of your own friends and family. The people that you least expected, the people that you thought we're supposed to be your number one supporters. I've had people tell me that I need to go work for the post office or drive trucks or work for New Jersey Transit after tirelessly re-explaining myself as to my goals. Don't explain yourself no more. If you express something the first time and it didn't register, they didn't remember, they, they don't understand, is because they don't want to understand. If you remind them again the second time, right, that's up to you. But a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time, believe me, I learned the hard way. If you have to go a third, fourth time explaining to them your dreams, your vision, and your, they don't want to understand. They're dream killers. Save your energy, right? Number two, trust in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. That's the spirit that's inside you that has wakened you up. You are awakened because the Holy Spirit is inside you. The truth is inside you. 
You are unplugged out of this matrix. You are unplugged out of this world. You see things for what it is. Your mind and your soul is hungry for knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And you grow in it as such. Right? You are rich in spirit because you are filled with truth. And that's what makes us the light of this world. Right? So trust in the Holy Spirit. Through the Spirit, you will be revealed. It will be revealed unto you. See, the Holy Spirit will bring all things to remembrance, just like the good book says. And, and will teach you all things. And as you are ready, who you are and why you are here will be revealed unto you. And it will be plain as day. And you will be actively working towards that every single day. Um... Right. So you trust in the Holy Spirit. You don't trust in these people. Right. If these people are small minded. You can't you can't talk to people about invest making investments to people that don't know anything about investments and never created abundance for themselves and don't care about investments. Right. Can't talk to them about that. Trust in the Holy Spirit that, you know, the Most High will bring you around those, right? Life will bring you around those that you're meant to be around. You may be alone for a while, and that's just what it is. But we are so few and far in between. Although there are much more people than I previously thought that are awakened. I thought things were completely hopeless years ago um but nonetheless we are few and far spread out and be, you know we're spread out there's not there's not many of us within our vicinity there's many of us but we are spread out right so you have to use this sermon you have to be wise as a serpent and be very careful with whom you share your your ideas with okay because you trick your brain just like napoleon hill said you trick your brain into into thinking you already completed the task, you have that dopamine rush, and then you become less motivated to go out and make it happen. Um, so you trust in the Holy Spirit, don't trust in man. Number three, enable creative mode by entering flow state, right? Enable creative mode. Start getting creative, right? By entering flow state. What is flow state? Flow state is that zone. Many of you have experienced this, if not all of you, is that flow state is that zone where you are in flow, where your mind, body, and spirit is in sync. And it appears as if you have done so much, but time went so slow, right? And I'm not talking about when you're having fun. I'm talking about when you're being productive. And you're looking at the time and you're like, damn, a lot less time went by than I thought. But but your, your mind is firing with ideas and inspiration and you're being productive, right? When you're in flow state, that's when you can be the most productive and you can manifest the most, right? When you're working with your hands, right? If you were a chef in the kitchen and you're in the zone, right? See, you may know flow state as being in the zone, same thing, right? So you need to know what this feels like and learn how to get in that zone. Um, not by accident, but at will. If you find it difficult to get in that zone and to enter flow state, you need to, number one, declutter your environment. Um, a, a cluttered environment, a, a dirty and cluttered environment stagnates energy. Energy needs to flow. That's why we can't be sitting down all the time or laying down all the time. We need to move. The body needs to move, right? Um, energy always moves. Energy flows. So you need to keep your place decluttered and clean. It's a constant battle keeping your place decluttered and clean. Um...
if you find it difficult to get in that zone, right, to enter flow state, you need to limit the time spent with energy vampires, people that drain your energy, right? Most of these people are not outright evil, but they're weak in the spirit and they have, um, they have their, uh, uh, they have their, uh, I'm missing the word, tendencies, their, 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 uh, they just have their things about them. You know, their toxic traits. That's, that's what I wanted to say. They have their own toxic traits about them that where they don't know how to generate energy from the spirit. Instead, they take it from other people, you know, almost as if they're attention whores, so to speak. Limit your time with them, whether in person or on the phone or even interacting online. Um, limit your time on social media or eliminate it completely, which is why I don't, I, I eliminated all my social media except for YouTube because I was determined to make YouTube work to, to spread the message, right? As a starting point, there are other platforms as well. There are other video platforms, but I started with YouTube, it being the most popular, um, if you have a problem getting into flow state, um, do things to relax your mind and your body, right? To ease the stress. It's difficult to get into flow state when you're under stress and anxiety, right? Cleanse yourself, take a shower, take a bath, do some yoga, some meditation. If you find it difficult to get in meditation, enter meditation mode while cleaning your house. I love meditating while sweeping the floors and cleaning the bathroom and decluttering, right? Um, play some instrumental music, right? Um, flow state, there's a certain calmness that is required in your spirit to easily enter flow state. Um, so you, you, have to, you have to peel away a lot of toxic energies your environment um people right this is why we spend a lot of alone time to recharge because this spiritual work requires a lot of energy um and then even your own thoughts you may have to peel away at your own toxic thoughts toxic emotions and toxic behaviors all of these things um block the flow of inspiration and creativity. When you enter creativity mode, that's when you start creating. And that's what we're here to do. Whatever it is that you were meant to create. Okay? It's not it doesn't have to be something necessarily artistic. Um you could be a craftsman, craftswoman, right? And that in itself may be an art in itself, but the point is we are here to put in work, to make things happen, whatever your life purpose is, okay? And by being active and by actively pursuing our life purpose and working towards it, you begin to care less and less what the dream killers say. It doesn't affect you as much. It gets to the point where you laugh at the dream killers because here it is, you realize they're wasting their time and energy running their mouths but had they been using that energy to create something for themselves, they wouldn't even have their energy to run their mouths and put down other people. Instead, they would be shining bright as well, raising themselves up and helping others to help themselves. Right? It's usually the people that are miserable and that are not are, are not doing much with their lives that enter that type of um, programming. Right, so get into doing uh, the works, right? Because like the good book says, it says faith without works is dead, right? So you can have the faith, you can believe, 
But if you're if you're not doing anything, you're doing yourself a disservice. And you're gonna you're you're not gonna be too happy with yourself when you realize how much time you wasted when months and years go by and you're like, oh man, I could have I could have been doing this, this, and this, even if I took baby steps daily, right? And made one percent daily progress. Um and don't compare yourself to other people and the progress that other people make. Everyone is at a different level, right? Embrace your divinity because in the good book, Yeshua, whom we know as Christ, he said himself, he told his disciples that you are gods. But then he told them, but you shall die as men because they weren't ready for this time right now, right? It is in this time where we are ready to embrace everlasting life higher levels of knowledge and wisdom, right? And understanding. The, we are living the awakening where, where we're no longer living like the walking dead because, because uh, we were kept in ignorance in days past. We were blinded with lies and kept ignorant. But now we're awake and we not only do we see the light, but the light is shining from within, right? Um, and last but not least, in the good book, Yeshua himself said, right? He said that whoever believes in me, he shall believe in the works that I do, but greater works than these shall he do or shall she do, right? Greater works than what he did. We're going to be he healing, helping to heal people, helping them heal themselves, really, is what it is. Okay? Because nobody can have receive healing if they don't want healing. And ultimately, they have to do the work themselves. We can't baby people. The time of babying people and, um, and extorting them out of the money and, you know, people spending thousands of dollars in dead-end courses and these fake gurus, all that, that time is coming to an end. The Great Awakening is right now. And people are going to want to empower themselves, right? So we're going to help people heal themselves. We're going to help together heal the planet, right? We're going to cast out devils. How? Because these devils are being revealed. We are the light of the world. Our light, us awakening and us speaking truth reveals the hypocrisy even more. It becomes even more evident. Because now the hypocrisy and the lies and the deviousness now must be weighed against righteousness, justice, integrity, men and women of valor, the true men and women of valor, right? Integrity, morals, principles, justice, righteous judgment. And this is and this is all right. This is what all this turmoil means. And there's gonna be because there's there's gonna there has to be a falling away, right? There has to be a crumbling of of the present social structures. But don't be afraid of that. Instead, prepare. Get your mind right. Get your spirit right. Get right with the Creator. Get right with yourself. Don't live in fear. Things for change to happen, especially massive change that's happening right now. Things have to get ruffled up a bit in order to bring it down, right? If you buy a piece of land and there's a building already built on it, right? Or houses and you want to build a new project, those houses need to be demolished completely. Then you remove the rubble. Clear out the rubble, prepare the land again, build a foundation, a new foundation, and you build new structures. For massive change, especially the change that is already overdue, that we are living right now, that these demons are scared of because we have been, we are woken up. We have been waking up and more waking up, right? For this change to come, it's going to be a little bit of a you know, stirring of the pot. 
you know, the waters are going to get a little bit turbulent. But there's nothing to be afraid of. There's actually everything to be excited for. <laughs> because this is the opportunity we have been waiting for. A better tomorrow. And a better right now. A better world of peace, truth, freedom, equality, and justice. Peace and love.